In this video, we're going to have a look at the area of similar shapes. Now, you will know that shapes are mathematically similar if one is an enlargement or a reduction or the other. And you'll know that problems invol involving similarity will require you to know about the scale factor, either the scale factor of enlargement or the scale factor of reduction. Now, when it comes to area, let's just have a look and see what happens. Now, if we take this red rectangle and we look at the yellow rectangle, we can see that the yellow rectangle is twice as long and twice as broad. But when you think of the area, how many of the red rectangles go into the yellow rectangle? You can see that, having scaled it up by a factor of two, that the area is now four times what it was. And if you look at the orange rectangle, you can see that if you were to fill it up with red rectangles, you can see that it would take nine of them to fill up the area of the orange rectangle. And if you look at the connection between the number of rectangles we need to fill it up and the scale factor, the linear scale factor, you can see that what we've got is not twice as many rectangles in this one, but four times, and two squared gives you four. And down here, for the bottom one, what you can see is that instead of having three times the area, what we've got is nine times the area, and three squared is nine. So what we say is that the area scale factor is the linear scale factor squared. So if you enlarge something by a factor of two, then the area is going to be four times as big. If you enlarge something by a scale factor of three, then the area is going to be nine times as big. If you enlarge it by a scale factor of four, then you're going to make the area uh, 16 times as big, and so on. So you have to remember that, that the area scale factor is the linear scale factor squared. Now, if we look at a couple of examples first, let's have a look and see um, the kind of thing that you could face. Now, the two shapes, the two pentagons here, you're told that the area of the small pentagon is 43 centimeters squared. And you're asked to find the area of the large pentagon. Now, if we look at the linear scale factor of enlargement, first of all, the linear scale factor of enlargement, and that's what I want to find because I want to find something to do with uh, the large pentagon, that's just going to be 9 over 5. Okay? The area scale factor of enlargement is just going to be 9 over 5 squared. So to get my, my uh, area, all I need to do is take the area of the small pentagon, which is 43, and multiply it by the area scale factor, which is 9 over 5 squared, and you just plug that into the calculator, and what you get to one decimal place is 139.3 centimeters squared and that's all there is to it okay so you find the linear scale factor of enlargement square it and then go on and use that okay let's have a look at another example this time we've got two stars you're told that they're similar in shape the area of the large star is 17 centimeters squared and you're asked to find the area of the small star now this time notice you're asked to find something to do with the small star so it's a scale factor of reduction we're going to focus on. So the linear scale factor of reduction is going to be 4 over 6, small over large. So the area scale factor of reduction is just going to be 4 over 6 squared. So to get the actual area of the small star, all I need to do is to say the area of the small star is going to be 17 times the scale factor for the area, and when you work that out to one decimal place, you get 7.6 square centimeters. Okay, and that's all there is to it. So here's a few questions for you to try yourselves, a couple of questions. See how you get on, pause the video, and check back and see if your answers match up what we've got. Okay? We'll move that down there just now. Let's have a look then at this. Now we're asked to find the area of the bigger shape. So you're going to focus on the scale factor of enlargement. So to get the area of the large shape, we just take the area of the small shape, which is 14.5.
we multiply that by the scale factor of enlargement, the linear scale factor of enlargement squared. So 7 over 5 and square it. And then we work it out. And to one decimal place, we get 28.4. centimeter squared okay so there you have the linear scale factor and it's been squared and you've gone on to use it to get your answer okay now for this one we're asked to find something uh, the area of the small star so we're going to focus on the scale factor of reduction so to get the area we just take the small area the large area this time sorry and we multiply it by the scale factor of reduction so for area, that's going to be 5 over 8, and all squared. You work it all out, and you get an answer of 8.6 centimeters squared. And that's you. Okay? Now, I'm going to show you one other type of question which you can get. Um, in the previous questions, you've been given um, maybe two dimensions, corresponding sides, or whatever it might be. You've been given the area and you've been asked to find out the area. You can also be given two areas and be asked to find out uh, the, an, an unknown dimension, or in this case, an unknown length. So what do we have to do? Well, what we've got to do is we've got to realize that to go from here to here, we need to know the linear scale factor of reduction. So how are we going to do that? Well, what we can do is we can find the area scale factor of reduction, first of all. And the area scale factor of reduction is just going to be 330 over 1635. Okay? Now, once you find the area scale factor of reduction, remember, to get the linear scale factor of reduction, all we do is we do the opposite of squaring. So we're going to do the square root. Okay? So what we do is we square root uh, 330 over 1635, and that's what we're going to go and use. And if I know that the length that um, I've been given is 65, I can go and use that to find the unknown length of the, of the smaller rectangle. So we can say that the missing length is going to be the square root of 330 over 1635 and you multiply that by 65 and you get an answer of 29.2 centimeters to one decimal place. So you can also be asked to work backwards if you like. So given the area scale factor, you then may be having to use the linear scale factor to find a missing dimension. So that's how you deal with questions involving the areas of similar shapes. And so I hope that that was helpful.